Hey everyone, it's Carly, Kayla, and Braden here. Uh, we're doing another granular update for you. And today we're here to talk about the, the app version of granular insights. You know, we've done a lot of demos about the website and how you can access it through your computer. Today we're here to show you that it's not only that website. This is an app that is something that's easy to hold in your hand and take out to the field with you and help you to make decisions when you're out and actively walking in that field. So we're going to jump right in that. And one of the first things we're going to look at is we're going to look at the account webs, the account version of the app. And so that's in the bottom right hand corner. And so when we click on that, two of the things that we really like to call out when we're on this page are two of my favorite features. The first one is the imagery preferences. And it's, you can select it there on the left. And the one really nice thing about this is, is when you're out in the field, you might not want to have to sort through all the different images uh, that it is taking when it's doing the scouting for you. And so what you can do by clicking on this imagery preferences is you can choose to see either all the days that it's taken an image, or you can choose to see the clear days only. So what that means, that's going to show you the images that uh, are minus of any cloud cover. And so you don't have to worry about if that yellow spot you're seeing, is that, a, is that maybe a little bit of a cloud popping up or is it actually, you know, a, a negative, a negative change in that field? The second thing I like to point out is the Wi-Fi download only on that, on that left hand bar, it's the bottom box. So what that allows you to do is turn that slider on so that your fields can be downloaded when they're offline. So when you're connected to Wi-Fi at your house, instead of it wasting data for your application, um, and, and raking up some of them, some of the data usage, you can turn that on and it'll download your fields for you when you're offline. And so if you know you're going out to an area in the U.S. where we don't have the best uh, cell signal, you can have all those images preloaded. So when you're walking out there, you can still see the most accurate imagery, images that you would be able to see if you had data and cell signal in those areas. Uh, those are two of my favorite callouts on this account page. And now I'm going to turn it over to Carly to discuss the map page. Thanks, Brayden. So like you said, the map, that icon is found in the middle of the page at the bottom of the screen. Once you are um, on this part of the, the app, if you click a number, for example, so the three right there north of Austin, when you click on that number, it will zoom in on the different fields. And so once it zooms in to the different fields, if you then click on the field, all right, so once you're in the map feature of the app, if you were to click on a number, it brings in the different pinpoints and map, map fields in the app. So if you forgot the name of the field that you're in or the name of the field beside the field that you were wanting to visit, if you were to click on that specific field, it would show you the name of the field and also how many acres are in the field. One of my favorite features about the app is if you are to click the follow me tracking tool, which is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It's the round icon with a dot in the middle. looks like a round target. If you were to click that icon, that would follow you and track you throughout the field as you were to walk it. The icon above that, which is a square with the dot in the middle of it, that gives you the overview of the field. So again, it's super handy to have um, in the palm of your hand when you're out in the field and scouting. Um, but another really awesome feature about this is seeing the imagery of the field, which Kayla is going to talk about next. Thanks, Carly. So we've talked about the two tabs on the bottom and the main tab that you're going to use on the app is called the list tab. So when you first click on that, it's going to be a list of all the fields that you have plotted. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on a field down here and it's going to pull up its boundary and the imagery for it. So I'm going to pull up the imagery for a day where it was clear. So let's go back to March 30th. So there's no cloud cover on this one here. And to change that, we just hit the vegetation index down here, and you can change what you want to look at. You can look at the boundary, the soil, the vegetation index, and then you can also switch the date here at the bottom, like so. So we're looking at March 30th of 2020, and the screen, the color bar that you see at the bottom goes from yellow to dark blue. The yellow is an area of low health, and um, a dark blue is an area of high health, and that's in relation to the boundary within the field. So it's comparing the vegetation index within the boundaries that you've set when you created a field in Corteva Fields or uploaded them through granular insights on the computer. Another function that we can do is we can compare imagery in the field. So if you go to the top button up here, you can look at different dates. So let's go and compare this field from last year. So remember that you get imagery from Oh, back to 2018 for this field. So let's just look at, we're going to look at July 6th. So you can see right here, we're looking at different imagery of the same field and we can compare it. And you know, this is all cool, but why are some of the reasons that we might want to 
look at the vegetation index. So if you have a pivot in your field, you'll be able to see if there is a clogged nozzle somewhere. You're going to see that area of low vegetation because it's not getting enough water compared to what's within the field. There could also be sprayer airs, there could be bug runs, you can see areas that are flooded out. It's just a really neat tool that helps you be able to prioritize your scouting. And as Carly mentioned before, this little button down here, the follow me feature, if I want to look at the area that's yellow, I click that and that will help lead me right to that spot that I want to check out more in depth. And when we go back to our fields list, we can filter it. So I want to filter it via scout priority. And you may have heard that before because that's the email that you get sent to you every Monday morning. And it's the software telling you what it thinks should be a good priority for you to go scout this week because it's had the most changes in vegetation health throughout the week. So you can see at the top here, there's a dark yellow medium priority and a light yellow medium priority. So that's the software just telling us that, hey, if you had time today to go scout a field, we'd recommend that you look at this top one right here. Um, so this is kind of an overview of the app and some of the features that it can offer you. Um, as always, Carly, Braden, and I are always here to help. So if there's anything that you guys need, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.